Hi, my name is Trey Mayfield, and today we're going to go over the basic setup for the LS IG5A VFD. As you can see, we're using a two horsepower VFD, but uh, the setup is basically going to be the same no matter what horsepower range you're at, other than the motor data. Uh, this drive basically gives you eight digital inputs, two analog inputs, one voltage, one current one multifunction relay output, one multifunction open, open collector output, and one multifunction analog output. As you can see, the basic uh, LED is only a one-line display. There's four main parameter groups. Your drive group, which is your basic parameters, your function group one, which adjusts uh, output frequency and voltage type things. Your function group two, which is more advanced features and your I.O. group which deals with all your inputs and outputs. Your uh, four arrow keypad makes it pretty easy to go to each function group. Uh, if you use the over arrow keys you get to the, different, the four different function groups. As you can see the basic function group is on that main display. If I hit the right arrow here I'm going to function group 1 which is labeled with an F. Hit the right arrow again I go into function group 2 which is labeled with an H hit it again, I go into the I.O. group, which is labeled with an I. So basically we'll go over a very basic setup of how to run this thing. I'm basically using a start-stop switch and a potentiometer giving this thing an analog signal. Now from the factory this drive comes uh, set up to get the analog signal from the keypad so what we're going to do is, is go over how to change that parameter um, to terminals. Based on the manual, the frequency setting method is parameter FRQ, which is in the main drive group. So as I said before, the main drive group is from the main screen. So I'm going to hit the up arrow until I see FRQ on the display. So to get to that parameter, I'm going to hit enter. The value of that right now is zero, which equals keypad as the reference. And since I'm using terminal V1, I'm going to put that parameter to two. Now to set it, you hit it once and you'll see it blinking. And then you hit it one more time and you see that that's been accepted. And it comes back to the main screen here. So now I've set my frequency reference to be used for my pot. So I'm going to go back to my main screen here, and as you can see, now that when I adjust my potentiometer, you can see the reference going up and down. So what I'm going to do is make my switch, my basic start-stop sw switch. You'll see the forward light come on, and you'll see our motor run as well. And you can see the speed pot is controlling the reference. That's the most basic of setups. So I wanted to go over one other thing. Let's go to a more advanced parameter. So for example, let's use, I also have another switch hooked up to terminal P4, which is one of the other digital inputs. And what we're gonna do is set that to jog reverse. So again, if you look in your manual, you can see that jog reverse is parameter I20, which is in the IO groups. So again, I'm gonna hit my right arrow key until I get to the I groups, I0, and I'm going to go all the way up to I20, hit enter. So this, this digital input is currently set to 3, which is fault reset. I'm going to set it to jog reverse, which is per, uh, value of 27. So what we're going to do is use the arrow key to make the value 27. And again, you're going to hit enter twice, so it accepts that value, which it now has. So I'm going to go back to my main screen here. And when I make the switch that's making digital input P4, you see that my drive is now running the motor at the jog reverse reference. So you can see here that the reference light is on. Excuse me, the reverse light is on and the drive is running at a at the jog speed that we have preset. So just to go over one more parameter set, let's say we want to change that jog frequency to something else. 
uh, like five hertz or something else. So if you look in the manual again, that jog frequency is in function group one, which again is the F's. So I'm going to go up to F20, which is our jog frequency. And as you can see right now, it's set to 10. Another thing that's interesting about this LED keypad is that you can use the over arrows to get to the correct decimal value. So as you can see right now, I'm, I'm going to be setting in tenths right now if I go up and down. So to make it easier, I'm going to go over, and I have the, the zero highlighted, and go down, and let's just make it 5 hertz. So again, you want to hit it twice. Now that's set. I'm going to go back to my main screen. And when I flip my switch now, we should run at a jog frequency of 5 hertz that we set, which is the case. Again, that's the most basic of setups here. Always give us a call or look, um, ask for help on our website at emainc.net.